Congratulations on getting through to the next round, coach. You said that it's the calmest penalty shootout that you've ever experienced in your post-match interview. Why were you so calm? Why were you so confident in your players? Spain were obviously really deserving winners today in normal time. Congratulations also because you said that you were one of the favourites and now you are in the semi-finals. First of all, uh, good evening. I've always said that we were one of the eight teams that had a chance of winning the title. But of course it was going to depend on our performances. Now we're in the last four and that is fantastic, obviously, and fills us with a great sense of pride. I think there were four questions in there, I can't remember them. Well, it would be ridiculous to think that the four semi-finalists aren't going to be thinking about going one step further and getting through to the final. We're focused on that objective, and whether it's Italy or Belgium, we'll see. In terms of the penalty, I was calm because it wasn't down to me. And, of course, once the players had decided who was going to take them, we all had huge faith in Unai and in them, so the only thing you could do was wait to see what would be and accept it. First of all, congratulations on getting through to the semi-finals. It was a real deserved win. I wanted to ask you uh, more about the penalties. You said that the players decide there, but did you have a list prepared uh, beforehand, had you practiced them? Well, as you know, uh, you don't plan the penalties at the start of the game. You obviously have a starting 11, and you know that some of them are going to be able to take penalties, but then obviously you have to make changes. And I put on Rodri in place of Pedri so that we could have more players that were more comfortable with taking penalties. So there were six or eight players there that could have taken them. They picked who would take them based on their confidence levels, on their fitness levels. We had more than five who were happy to take them, so of course some of them didn't. Congratulations. You said that you were calm going into the penalty shootout. But Unai Simon just said you made some important comments ahead of the shootout. Well, ahead of the shootout, I tried to convey the message that what would be would be and that the team had played brilliantly in terms of their attitude, performance, in terms of what it means to represent the team, the country in the way that they have done. And I told them to relax and think about what Joaquin Valdez, their psychologist, had told them about relaxing. And I told them to enjoy the moment as much as they could, because obviously it's a very tense moment. Apart from that, it was about faith in Unai, faith in the takers. Of course, we didn't get off to a good start but the players were able to turn it around. First of all, congratulations on getting through to the semi-finals. It's Italy and Belgium right now. In terms of those two teams, would you have a preference in terms of your semi-final opponent? No, I don't have a preference. And and if I did, obviously, I wouldn't say that. It would have been naive to talk about that kind of thing. But of course, we know both Belgium and Italy, and we'll wait to see. We're very pleased, we're very calm, and we'll wait to see who our semi final opponent is. I wanted to ask your opinion on the game itself over the 120 minutes. How happy were you with your team's performance? Where do you think that you can improve ahead of the semi-final clash? Well, 
We went up against Switzerland and we knew how good they were. I think it was a great start for us, of course. We dominated them, they were uh, really stuck back in defence and it was all about them defending and trying to stop us creating chances for them. I think when it went to 1-0 it became a more dangerous game because we weren't generating so many chances and the other side started to counter. They have a fantastic coach, they're a very well drilled side and I think after the sending off the game changed again totally. After that we were able to dominate the match and we really controlled the game as well as creating a lot of chances. We were dominating throughout the uh, extra time period of course. I think it would have been much more easy even if it were 11 versus 11 but uh, I think we did deserve to win with, uh, with 10 men. We created five or six chances which were pretty clear cut, but uh, at the end of the day we had to uh, go to penalty kicks. Uh, people say that it's a lottery, but it's not at all. Uh, everything comes into it. The tension of the players, their ability to deal with pressure, the goalkeepers. There are many factors. It's impossible to coach them, but uh, when they go your way it feels very good indeed. I saw you speaking with all of the penalty takers, but you seem to linger a little bit longer with Unai Simon. It, did you have special instructions for him, or did you want to convey your faith in him? Did you think he could be the hero of the penalty shootout? Well, any coach thinks that when they speak to their goalkeeper. I have seen him save lots of penalties for Athletic. I've seen it in training with us. He's a specialist. I try to tell him to use his style and try to uh, heat pressure on the taker. I was completely relaxed and had complete faith that whatever happened, uh, I would have thought this was an uh, excellent performance from my team. Thank you very much. That concludes the press conference.